not as as good as the uh, Kentucky Derby prep weekend was last weekend. It gets even better this weekend. We got a couple of big ones, one in the country, one outside the country. Let's start in the good old USA down in South Florida for the Florida Derby mat. And it marks the return of Audible. It's been a few months, but we cannot forget the performance that the New York Brit ran in the Holy Bull. Yeah, Brian, this uh, Florida Derby has an interesting and a strong collection of horses. Some of them who are putting their eggs in this final basket in the Florida Derby to to make it to the first Saturday in May. Audible has 10 points. The winner of the Holy Bull, who was so impressive, got three wins in a row in there. Catholic boys coming back off a similar kind of layup layoff with only 14 points uh the remsen winner came back to finish second in the sam f davis so the two of them th they need to get a first or a second place finish in here uh if they're going to advance in the race we got strike power in the race the speedy strike power who ran a very game second place um in the fountain of youth and the winner of the fountain youth uh Promises fulfilled, who's already got enough points to be in the Derby. He's coming back in the Fountain of Youth also. Right, Matt. And, and that Holy Bull, getting back to the Holy Bull, Matt, I, I think it was one of the performances of the division so far this year. And one of the things I was so impressed with, Audible really didn't face much. He was facing New York Brick Company uh, up in New York before the Holy Bull, but uh, I just love the way he uh, he really sprinted down the stretch. He was running fast at the end of that Holy Bull, and it makes me think that he is, at least to some extent, the real deal. And uh, and following that train of thought, I think he's the horse to beat here in the Florida Derby. You mentioned several other ones, and it and it is an interesting race. It'll be a nice field. Uh, I think we have uh, uh, strong candidates for the second, third, and fourth choice in the ones you mentioned. Catholic boy, nothing wrong with his Sam F. Davis. Uh, he didn't get the win as the favorite that day, but but Flame Away has proven, I, I guess, time and time again, that Flame Away is a nice horse. So maybe that uh, Sam F. Davis by Catholic boy looks a little bit better than it did uh, immediately after the race. And he continues to train well down in Florida. And promises fulfilled and strike power. Interesting. Uh, there will be speed in here and there will be more speed in here. So it'll be interesting to see uh, if they can ration out that speed, always dangerous at Gulfstream Park. Promises fulfilled, uh, like the others mentioned. That was his first race of the year in the Fountain of Youth, and uh, very impressive. And Strike Boy, Strike uh, Strike Power, excuse me, Strike Power was uh, stretching out for the first time, so could have improvement there. And he kind of let uh, Promises fulfilled uh, do his thing and, and chased him all the way. So all four of those alone make the Florida Derby a strong race. But I want to see that Holy Bull performance again. And if Audible can do that, he comes into Kentucky as one of the favorites. Yeah. It, and, you know, looking at the at the field, it seems like there's going to be a good pace set up for Audible and Catholic Boy. Um, there isn't any reason to think that Promises Fulfilled and Strike Power aren't going to go out there again and try and duplicate their finish from the Fountain of Youth, which m to me means that uh, audibles should be sitting not far behind and Catholic boy uh, closing also. But like you said, Brian, this is Gulfstream Park. And on any given day, it can be very hard to run down uh, to run down the speed. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It makes it a very interesting Florida Derby math. Florida Derby is always interesting. Uh, last year, of course, it produced the uh, Kentucky Derby winner and always dreaming trained by Todd Pletcher. Matt, who trains audible? I think it's uh, the Toddster also. Todd Pletcher, that name. It's not Pletcher and Baffert. It's not a Kentucky Derby prep, I guess. So that's uh, that's the big prep Saturday in America, the Florida Derby, audible against a good field. Uh, again, making his first start since uh, early this year in uh, an impressive win in the Holy